Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to place your object in your scene. In all the courses out there or all the tutorials on YouTube, they just have a simple scene that they can place whatever they want in there but when you have this complex scene in here and um, uh, you want to place something in this scene it's it won't be as easy as they say it okay so in this video i'm going to show you the best way to place things actors or objects in your scene so without any further ado let's begin so you can see here we have a lot of objects in here and placing them is not that easy and I want to show you the easiest way to place something in your scene. Let's say we have this, right? Let's just change the uh, position of this to show you how you can position something better than before, okay? So we want to place this to this wall, okay? So what is the best way? Um, everybody say that you should turn on a snapping and change the pivot point with middle mouse and alt hold alt v and place it okay to where this is a snapping but in this big scene it won't work like this okay so the best best way to do it so hold control select this one you are on select or you are on whatever mode that you want. We can just select this, select and translate objects button in here. So we select this and we select this wall as well. So we wanna connect these two together. We wanna place them together, right? We don't wanna change the wall, but we wanna position these box in here, in this wall, right? For that, select both of them with holding control and selecting them. And in the word outliner in here, right click on one of them and go to visibility and say show only selected. With this, you just have these two objects in here and uh, you, you know it from no, you can just select it and place it, but there is a better way to do that. Okay, so what is the better way? The pro way to do it is just select, click on this. If you don't know what these icons are, maybe you are, of course, you, you know what they are, but I want to show the beginner what they are if you click on it it will show the uh, back view right view and top view for us okay and let's unzoom a little bit and you can see in this view in top view if you click on here you can maximize it and you can see two objects we selected and we say we just want to see just those two okay and if we turn on the snapping and put it to the one we can just put it wherever we want okay so like this and if we zoom a little bit you can clearly see there is a gap between them so turn off a snapping and again you can place it but there is a better way again to do this so if you select this and holding V on your keyboard, you can see there will be some point in our wall object. Okay, so let hold and hold V and you can see that it will snap to that wall clearly. Okay, so if you want to snap it to the Y, you can see it, you can do it clearly and it's it's the best way to place something in your big scene so you can see it it will snap to that object that you want so we snap it with holding V and it snap to vertices of our wall and there won't be any Z fighting right so no let's just go back to that view to perspective view like this and you can see we did place it correctly hit esc on your keyboard so all the buttons will gone and no we can just right click in here and go to visibility and say show all actors no and you can see we 
precisely placed or boxed in that wall and you can see that is clearly in that wall right so we will have a lot of these cool tutorials and tips and tricks about unreal engine 5 that i will show you through time so please subscribe it will help you a lot I do my best to help you a lot and please if you want to help me in this YouTube journey hit that like button as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.